Hello food lovers, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we will be diving into the world of flavors and colors with this bitter leaf soup that is one of the most popular soup recipes from the eastern states. But of course we have to wash the bitter leaf off the leaf, at least 90% of the bitter taste and this soup is one of my best soup. Mm -mm -mm. And so guys, wear your apron and let's get started. To begin, here I have some tozo meat. And I'm going to add one more to this. And also stockfish. I'm going to put all this together and I'm going to add some little spices to this. I'm adding dry pepper, a teaspoon of dry pepper, a teaspoon of salt and also a teaspoon of Cameroon pepper. and a teaspoon of chicken bouillon I will be adding a little water to this enough to cook the meat until it's soft and tender so I'm going to allow this to cook for 40 minutes then I start the other preparations while the protein is cooking, I will be boiling some cocoa yam, which I'm going to use as a thickener for this bitter leaf soup. And so I'm going to cook this cocoa yam until it's soft. And here I have a banaro pepe, the yellow one, for flavor and the taste, and some few red habanero, which I'm going to blend with the cocoa yam and a little bit of warm water to give it a very smooth paste. Here I will be using the banga extract for this bitter leaf soup to give it a bang. Hi guys, I would really love to thank my subscribers. Guys, thank you for your support, your comments, your likes. Mm, thank you so much. And for the new subscribers, you are welcome to this kitchen. Thank you so much guys, I love you. Using a clean bowl, I'm going to turn all the palm extract into the bowl and I'm going to put an equal part of warm hot water into this bowl, stir all together. I like to sit so that the debris from the palm oil will settle under the bowl. Now that the protein is all cooked and tender, we are now going to pour the extract, the palm oil extract into the pot and be careful not to pour the under of this inside because of the dirt. I will be adding oguri to this which is fermented locust bean. Also I will be adding some crayfish to this delicious bitter leaf soup honestly i'm salivating and i'm going to add the coco yam and yellow pepper paste to this and i'm just going to cover the spots and i like to cook for 10 minutes All ingredients for this recipe will be in the description box, please check it out. If you have enjoyed this video so far, don't forget to smash the like button, I beg you, support your babe, support your girl, comment in the, leave a comment in the comment section, just comment about something, drop me a smiley emoji, I already love it. In 10 minutes now, I'm now going to add the dry fish that has already been deboned 
and cleaned and washed I'm going to add it to this bitter leaf give it a very good stir put that all together leave that to cook for three minutes it's been three minutes now I'm now going to add my already well washed I personally washed this bitter leaf seriously no joking I washed it I'm going, going to add this bitter leaf to this soup give it a very good stir allow it to cook for three minutes and then we can taste for additional seasoning to your taste if you see this soup is not too thick it's not too watery it's just in the borderline and here yeah, I'll be adding a little salt and some crayfish maggi to give it an extra bang and I'm going to give this a very good stir I just like the consistency of this soup because after a while the soup just thickens on its own so I think this consistency is just perfect for me I don't know about you and so guys this Pitali soup is ready. It can be eaten with Gary Pando. Yum. Fufu. Any swallow of your choice, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was very useful to you. Please like, share with your friends and family, subscribe to my channel. For more delicious recipes like this, guys, cheers, subscribe, support me, comment in the section, in the comment section. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you very, very much. Cheers. <laughs>